What's up, lady gang, 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 gang. And if you ain't lady gang, then you a lame. And if you gang, then you gang. Period. So today's videos are my diary looking at me. Uh, today's video is gonna be the homeschool, and I'm gonna show you our homeschool setup because I decided to do homeschooling for her. She is, she will be four in November, so she's early. She's not starting real school. She can go to preschool, but every time she goes to school, she gets sick, and I don't want a baby catching coronavirus. Period. So I'm gonna show y'all our overall setup. This is the setup right here. There's her. See, so you're getting nosy, but. This is like everything we use, and Hi. down here we have some stuff that we have food boxes. We have we went to Sam's Club, and I didn't have room for that, so I had to put it right there. Do you work, girl? So, overall, right here we have some mag um, not magnet boards, dry erase boards. I got dry erase boards. I got a couple um, workbooks for her another dry erase board but this has like letters on it so she could practice her letters on the inside here we got some magnets that have squares and triangle shapes then we have like some i forgot what these are called i guess they're just shapes but we have some shapes and they come with these little boards here so she could practice making whatever they have on them or she can make her own. Then back here, I have some in this little pouch here. They're just letters, I believe, letters, yeah. They're just all different kind of color letters and stuff. And they come with little like cards. I'll show you a card. My nails are long, so I'll be having difficulties, but they come with these little cards you know and she could spill out some stuff we haven't got around to this yet but i think we'll probably do this today because class starts at nine o'clock for her so we'll probably get around to do that today and let me set you guys down so i can of this stuff I ain't even gonna lie so the whiteboards Dollar Tree these little books all this pouch right here I just showed you first Dollar Tree the these magnets I ordered them off of Amazon along with the shapes and these I ordered them off Amazon as well and underneath the shapes we have some some Legos. I bought us some Legos just in case you do something fun or we could do like some math with them. So, uh, and then over here in the second area, I'm going to show you guys first. I hope you guys can see. Okay, so, we're in this area. So, so in there, first this glue bottle i don't know if we really use glue because my daughter is not the best person to keep this stuff clean and then in one of these little containers like this like this i have a bunch of paint brushes in there i have like a whole bunch that's filled up with paint brushes so we do art i have more glue About six of these glue sticks I got these from Dollar Tree and FYI everything in this bucket I'm showing you where in this side is from Dollar Tree that's why you guys don't need to be all expensive with your stuff you know just be creative that's all then we got like these little magnetic dry erase I don't know what they're called like cleans or whatever I don't know but they're magnetic dry erase you get the gift and over here I have a little wooden puzzle she could paint these. She started to color on them. So we've had this before school started. So I just decided to throw them into the school work because she doesn't use them. But we'll make sure I'll make sure we use them. I have these flashcards with her. Um, I'm not gonna show you the login because her ABC mouse login and stuff is on there. I don't want anybody else's kid using it, so but I just have some flashcards, you know, just in case we need to write something down or do something quick. I have this little timer when she's doing work I just 
set it down next to her or next to me so that lets me know when she's done doing stuff so we'll just leave that right there because i like to see it go down have some flashcards i know she's way too young for this but it never helps but to start i mean it doesn't hurt to start and i actually got these from my mom's old neighbor before she passed away rest her soul um her son her son was giving away a lot of stuff because he moved in moving with his dad and when she passed away so he was giving away stuff so he gave those away along with these addition cards so of cards flashcards and stuff so we have dr seuss flashcards we have dr seuss those are these ones are numbers 1 through 20 and these ones are colors and shapes and then we have some flashcards uh, sesame street flashcards and we were practicing some of those yesterday she knows semi real then i have a couple packets of pencils over here i'm not gonna take them out because they're the pencils um, I have these stencils for her for art class if we were to do something or when she's in her sensory play. That would be great. I also have all different types of measuring spoons for her sensory play as well or if we needed them for something. Back here, now let me show you guys where we're at. So, now we are currently in this section. We're going to do this and I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to go up. So, you guys know. Look at that little timer still on. So in the first, well in the second one we have crayons. I believe this is two packs of crayons. And we have color pencils. I don't have her any markers yet. I believe I bought her some, but I just can't seem to find them. So I would have to buy more markers for her because I'm not going to give her my markers because they're my markers. <laughs> but she can use them. I got two Sharpies and some highlighter. Oops. They can't hurt. And some highlighters. So just teach her work or if she needs them for something. Then we got some popsicle sticks here. These are just the jumbo ones. And she was using these yesterday. I'll actually, once I figure out where they're at, I'll show you guys what she was working on yesterday with the pops of the six with her dad. Her dad does math and recess. And I do all the other classes. But that's totally fine with me. Then in these top drawers, we have a pencil sharpener. I need to get some batteries for it. Then we have three pairs of scissors. And these ones came in a pack, obviously. And that's because I couldn't find these. I bought her two of these child safety scissors. Yeah, they have the thing. And I couldn't find the other ones because when I bought them, she just wanted to cut immediately. But these are very, I approve these for children. They're not as sharp as you think they would be, but these are sharp. So I don't let her use these. These are the ones I use. Or if she does use these, I'm helping her use them. We have all type of erasers. Then we have more crayons. These are like the color colors of the world crayons. You know, like skin tones, this side right here. And then this side over here is just regular crayons. But I thought that was neat. I'm going to have a whole bunch of dry erase markers for our whiteboard activities or lessons, whatever we decide to do for the day. Okay, now guys, we are in this section. And then we'll do the top. So, and like I said, in my little thing, I made this myself. I give myself kudos on the back for making this. Because how many people do you know can make a whole shelf thing full out of cardboard box? Not me, I don't know many people, but... So on this side in this first tray here this is just like a learning tray but i have some numbers from her birthday last year i'm like we could use them so i just put them in there then in here i have some change and we do money that's all i have in there right now and i have these um tweezers like giant kids tweezers for her for whenever we do something maybe like sensory play or if i'm trying to get her to pick something up with a tweezer maybe i said like pick some money up with the tweezers you know and tell me how much it is five cents so 
And this top one, we don't have nothing yet, but in here, this is just with the stickers. I would give her when she's doing a good job. Let's try to get these markers. Shouldn't be in here. But these are all the stickers I would give her when she's doing a great job. I have more, but these are just the ones that were close. Onto the top, and this right above this, I have the prize jar, prize bucket, whatever you want to call it. And it just has all type of little goodies in there. When we go to the store, I let her pick something out like that's in bulk, like the dollar store. It has a lot of one thing in there, and we'll add it to the prize bucket. But this just has all kinds of cool little fun stuff in there. I'm not really sure what this is, but... Me. When I was a kid, we used to have prize buckets in the store, you know, so I wanted her to have the experience I did as a child, so that's what I'm trying to achieve, because a lot of schools nowadays, I don't know what they be doing with these children, but this is what she was working on yesterday in her math class, and they're just letters, I mean letters, numbers, four, five, she was working on them, so I believe she will finish these today. I'm not too sure whatever dad decides to do, but that's what she did yesterday in her math class, and I'm so proud of her. And I think I'll move these to right here, up there, because they're just not big enough. Then in here, I have like these little counter chips, and I believe it's 75 or 78 piece. And you know, this is really good. She was using these in her math class as well, matching them to those popsicle sticks. The colors. Then we have up here, I'm not going to pull it down, but we have a whole bunch of those. I'm pretty sure you've seen them. We have a whole, the whole bunch of those. And then I have zip ties up here. I don't know what I got zip ties for, but I'm pretty sure throughout the year, year they'll come in handy for something. And we have tape. Tape is up there. I could have put you guys like that, but we're over here on this side. Zip ties and tapes over here, but I'm not going to pull that down. So, let's go to the bottom. So, right here, this is one of the sensory plays I was talking about. It's just full of noodles and toys and stuff. And, you know, she has to find them. She's been playing with this. This is her favorite. I haven't let her use the other ones. But before we actually started school, I was letting her play with this. And she loves it. So, and the other day we went to Lookout Mountain. And I had her collect, like, um, I guess like a show. You. I just had her collect, like, some little fun things. Like we got some maps from somewhere off the trail. She got, um grass and little flowers and acorns and rocks and leaves and stuff just all type, type of naturey stuff and i planned on what i was going to do with this i plan on letting her like you know break it down and we're going to glue it onto like a paper or a, a paper plate and make a little art project with that so i believe she'll really enjoy that and we just have an extra bucket if we find something it has a bead in there right now but um so then we have two of these buckets filled with blocks. They have shapes, numbers, and do they have letters on there? Yes, and letters, shape, numbers, and letters on there. And they have pictures as well. And I believe I bought these off Amazon. And there's two buckets of these. So I'm like, we could use these. This would be very fun. And a lot of this work, like I said, my daughter is three, so I tried to do, get projects and activities that would be fun for her and she would, that would keep her entertained. And this is one of the number sheets I printed off yesterday. It's just the extra. But in this first bucket, we have something like this, so you guys can see. I have it in sections, that's why I can't turn it. But everything from these over here is art so this is like all art coloring paint supply well paint boards um coloring books extra paper stuff like that you know then this binder right here this is it doesn't have much in there because i'm just gonna i just plan on putting her work that she's did like yesterday she did this she did very great no it's not this. that good So yeah, um, 
And in this red binder, there's nothing in here. It just has like regular, I believe, grid paper, graph paper, whatever you call it. Um, we'll use that eventually for something. Can't tell you what, but have another binder. I believe it just has regular writing paper in there. And we'll use this for something. We'll use all this for something. That's my see it now and I don't have a use for it it will have a use eventually and then I put this upside down morning starters but upside down. and we just start one of these every morning after we do our morning stretch and um, then we start our morning starters that will be will do because like I said this is only our second day of school and what time is it now it's 8 30 so I have 30 minutes to finish showing you guys this which I believe I will show you before the 30 minutes hit that and then she has let's just pull off four of these or there's more than four but <laughs> she has a writing pre-k and i said pre-k because i have pre with the dash k because it's preschool work and kindergarten work all of these so that's why i just put pre-k you get it not because she's actually in you know whatever reading pre-k math pre-k I'm gonna do her five senses. I don't know why I put pre K, but I guess they're like kitty ish. So, so that's the pre K's on those. Have her little art folder, and this has all type of fun art stuff in there. And by the way, I printed all these sheets off of Google. I didn't pay for no one. No so Y'all wanna know how I got them for free? My Let me know. Is that home? Comment down below. And this is her cut and paste slash fun sheets and it's obvious cut and paste on this side crosswords and just fun stuff here on this side and those are those folders then the last three right here we have two composition notebooks and majority of everything's green because we went to the store she wanted green for this year i don't know if that's her favorite color or what but it must be so I picked everything green and so did she and then like after like the second or third day of school shopping she wanted to change everything to pink so I was not having it though so she has green and pink That's, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed most of it is green and pink so then we have this bucket here and this is our activity outside fun bucket whatever you want to call it and basically when we're going outside maybe for a recess we could she could pick something from here yesterday we did this like i'm not sure what it's called but we were catching the little ball back and forth so yesterday this is what we did outside she has the bubbles in here um i'm really not sure what this is called but you like throw the ball back and forth and it sticks on there and they have little hand things then she has our um tennis rackets up on the table um so that's what we have these for, or we'll probably use the ball for it. Either way, but we'll have some fun. And she has chalk. Chalk. Little egg chalks. I got the egg-shaped chalks because the regular chalks, she breaks them. Like, my daughter's heavy-handed, so she, they always break. And then this ball came with these little rackets, but I didn't think it was actually heavy enough for us to throw back and forth and catch. So, I ended up using the other ball with it. Then we're gonna go oh, right here i have three of these trays for when she's doing her sensory play she could pull it out the other bucket and put it on here you know so it doesn't make a mess okay guys now we are under her table slash desk area and in this first bucket here we have um, some Montessori play got some paint you know just in case she, for art class we could paint these and these are like I thought these were so cute I actually grabbed these ones and she grabbed the card but they're little you know put some stuff in there yeah so we just have that in this bucket in the second bucket we have more art play we have like um I'm not sure what these are called but I used to use them in school. Some little poofies. Sorry, look, sorry.
sorry guys i got distracted oh my god Ugh. got the little poofies got some feathers here and i will be adding to this so i wanted a whole bunch of like art fun art supply and you see like this strings of different colors or whatever but this is all they had at the dollar store that was really interesting at the moment so and then in here this is another sensory play like i was telling you she has not touched this one for the simple fact it is sand and rocks and i have carpet so when we do this she will be going outside for class for that one and yeah i have one more space to show you guys and then i will show you guys the overall look of our classroom and then, like I said, guys, don't judge my noodles right here because we went to Sam's Club shopping. I usually go every two months, and I bought way too much this time. So we have we have stuff in weird places, but this is our library area, and um, this is the chair I usually sit in and read her her books and move move. Her books are right here. We don't have many books. But we do have a few. I do plan on ordering some off of Amazon once I get paid. So I want to have some more cultural books and I want to have some more fun books. For them. So, yeah, that is that. And here she is. Say hi to the camera. Hi. I have my Minnie Mouse. Uh, I used to go back to school, but I actually get sick in there. And I'm lyric. I stay with my mom and dad and I eat. And all of this. She tells all the business, but. <laughs> So guys, here is our overall look of our mini classroom. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that, but there we have um, the numbers, the letters, and we have a planner. I'm going to change that out because I don't know if you guys could tell, but I did the things myself, but on Friday, it got bunched up. So I'm going to take this planner off and I'm going to redo a whole nother one. And then she also has her number sheet right there at her desk. And on the back of that chair right there, she has some stuff. But overall, this is what our classroom looks like. Our space. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. If you didn't hit that like button, then you're lame. Period. You feel me? Feel me? Lady gang, 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 gang. It's like, no, I'm just playing. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Don't be negative. Don't leave no negative comments because I'm not even going to respond. I don't have time for it. So, But this is for the people that truly support and follow Love by Lady. Thank you. Also, go shop lovebylady.com. Lovebylady.com. Everything is on sale. Um, there is a discount code. Discount code is Lyric17. Capital. All capitals. L-Y-R-I-C. All capitals. One seven. And that discount code is forever. It works forever, so use it. But I am thinking about changing it, so use it while you can. Until next time, lady gang, 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 gang. Thumbnail. Gang, 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 gang. Sorry, I forgot to take a thumbnail.